Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Dana. I have been here on YouTube making videos, sharing my life for over six years now, um, and I recently got really into sewing. I took sewing lessons as a kid, and I took like, of course, like the home ec classes and everything, but uh, during my little break from YouTube, I got super into sewing my own clothes, so I really wanted to show you what I made, and hopefully uh, you can get a little bit of inspiration as well if you like to sew. Let's get right into it. This guy used to be a pair of my dad's Lucky Brand jeans that he didn't need anymore. And my parents are always giving me clothes, like if I wanna sell them or, you know, I guess do this now. Um, but I decided to follow another Just Dang tutorial and uh, sew this. I love overall shorts. I have a pair from Levi's that I've been wearing for years and they don't really fit the way I'd like anymore. And I feel like the top half of this looks so good good because it's like all one wash of denim like the pocket and the straps and everything all look uniform but then when you get to this part because it's all from like the same pair of jeans there's different distressing so I kind of wish like these lines either went all the way up or if like the whole thing could just be a dark wash so I think I'm gonna save this for next summer and maybe like re-dye it or something or get some bleach and do some bleaching on it and see what I want to do just to make it more uniform because that's the part that bums me out. I left the bottoms unfinished but I did put a stitch here so I can have like the rolled up look and I still need to add the buttons here but yeah it has like a tie at the top instead of like a snap thing it's like a tie and I feel like the back is not super flattering on my butt area but um Honestly, like I don't like live for my butt to look good. Like I, I like the style of like dungarees. I think it's like really uh, like worky looking, you know? And my dad always would talk about wearing them as a kid. So it was like a really special project to make an overall out of like a pair of his clothes. And it's extra special because you can see like where, you know, he'd keep his wallet and uh, the, I left the Lucky Brand tag on there. But again, like this side is a lighter wash than this side and like, so just the predicament of it being like different washes in like unintentional places I don't love uh but yeah I can deal with that next summer and for now like if I if I want to wear it like this I think I can it's just um really wish it was all this dark wash it would look so cute like that this one was pretty hard to make because I kept putting the ruffles on backwards like they were facing like one was facing this way and you know it was all like weird and I haven't got the chance to wear it yet but this little like eyelet fabric was one that I've had in my collection for a while. I used to just like buy fabric at like thrift stores and things and just not use them until now. So um, I used a tutorial by Jess Dang for this one and I just thought it would look really cute and cottagey, like cottage core vibes in this uh, fabric. And I did do like the little French seams so they're not like so there aren't like raw ends sticking out anywhere. The top is lined, but it's still pretty sheer just cause this fabric, I mean, it has holes and it's a light color and it's lightweight. So I will have to figure out like what I would wear under this. I haven't had the chance to wear this one yet. And now since it's like fall, I don't think I'm gonna have like the right opportunity. The one thing I don't like is I made the armholes kind of like small and weird. Like I feel like this back part should have been attached a little further down. So I had like more room for my arms cause it's like creates kind of a gap. But besides that, I really love this dress. Hopefully next spring and summer, I'll have plenty of chances to wear it. Um, it has an open back and you like tie it in a little bow. It's almost like an apron vibe. I love it. This is a little like romper I made out of this black gauzy material. I'm not used to making like things with legs, like shorts. It is a little wonky, but that's okay for my first try. It's really comfortable and lightweight to throw on in summer. It's like a, I almost feel like a baby when I wear it. Like it's a onesie, just really light and flowy and cool. It's not completely finished though. I made the whole thing and then like I finished the seams and everything again with that like 
French finished seam and this one isn't lined so it is rather see-through so, so I should really wear like a bodysuit under it but I finished all the seams then I had to take it in here so I need to cut this little like flap off re-seam it but I bought this fabric at Joann's it's uh it's really nice I wanted to make like summer basics out of it and I mean I could even wear this in fall even probably not winter because it is so lightweight but I could always do it with like tights and boots and throw on a jacket and I think it'd be real nice. I really wanted a piece like this but couldn't like find exactly what I wanted so I made it instead. For these two dresses I used about the same pattern. I like made it based on a Just Dang video again. I love her. I love her personality and her vibe and she just has such a good style and she's so good at sewing so I love her videos. But let's start with the lemons because this is what I made first. I'm going somewhere that's famous for their lemons and I really wanted a lemon themed dress or outfit to wear. And I saw one at Nordstrom, a lemon dress, and I actually have the picture of it. And I really liked it, but I was like, there's things I would change. Like, you know, it doesn't fit me like a custom dress would. And like, it just, it had like a tiered skirt. I didn't really want that. And like the prints weren't lined up right. So I decided I would look for lemon fabric and make my own. I was able to find something really similar to the original dress. And I made this. <laughs> At first I put on like a smaller skirt, like it was more fitted to my body, but I'm like, you know what? I want like a fun retro silhouette. That's my favorite. So I changed that out for a uh, more voluminous skirt. And the top, it actually goes up pretty high, which is great. My armpits are covered, which I've never experienced in like clothes before buying for myself because of how women's bodies are like our bodies are all so different they can't possibly make clothes that will fit everybody so basically like all my dresses that fit on my chest have like a big armpit hole that shows too much of my armpit but I like how my dresses come all the way up and this one has thicker straps than the red one just to be comfortable I lined it with this like lining materials so that's why it makes that swooshy sound and here's the back just to show the zipper and the structure of the back but i'm so thrilled with this one i love the pattern i'm so excited to wear it on my trip so you'll definitely be seeing this one in instagram pictures when i'm on vacation and here is my red dress it looks a lot brighter on camera than it looks in person even in my other video that i wore it my tea review video uh, but it's the same pattern as the lemon dress. I just chose to do some like thinner straps, more like spaghetti straps. I love the brand French Connection and I always go to this like last chance store near me and I find like really good French Connection dresses and I have a white one, a navy, a black, and like a pistachio green. And I've been looking for a red one, but it's like I'm not about to pay like $150 because that's how much they are if you buy them new. So I remembered that I had a crap ton of red fabric just sitting in my old bedroom at my parents' house. I'm like, I can make a really cute basic dress because French Connection always has that like adorable, like just perfect basic vibe, like short little cute simple dresses that can be worn a lot of different ways so this will be perfect for my vacation but also just for my life like to be able to throw on just a perfect little retro dress it's like i'm building a closet full of my perfect items and my perfect basics so i can have honestly my dream wardrobe i'm obsessed with this one and i think it's my favorite out of what i've made um, in this little batch of clothes that I've made. And these shirts I designed, it's not actually sewing, but I did like come up with these. Um, I'm sure they're not very unique, but this one says Pasta Milano and it's like a play on Prada. And then I have this one, it's like a twist on Gucci, but it says Naki instead. If you love pasta, you could actually buy one of these. I have them for sale on like my little merch store so you can go ahead and click the link to that in my description box all right so i hope you enjoyed seeing everything i made i definitely have a lot of plans for the upcoming months you know like my birthday's in september so i have a dress that's like in the works right now for my birthday party and then um in october i have like tons of halloween stuff planned so uh 
definitely a lot to look forward to as far as sewing projects. But let me know if this was interesting to you, if you like seeing this, or if you'd rather just see me drink tea on the internet, uh, that's fine too. But I just wanted to share something that's like brought me a lot of joy recently. So hopefully it'll bring a little bit of joy to you as well to see it. But anyway, I hope that you and your families are all staying safe and healthy, and I hope you're having a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.